Hello. Um, wanted to make a comparison between these two laptops that I have. Uh, one is the ASUS EEPC 1215N. Uh, the other one is the Acer Aspire 1 uh, 756 series. Um, I had the the ASUS right here. Um, and I was having issues with the mouse pad um, so basically I went to Best Buy I got it on the Best Buy website but I bought it from a third party vendor and it was uh, really difficult to get a hold of the vendor so I was able to get Best Buy to give me an in-store credit for $350 and I basically ended up getting the this uh, machine right here, the Acer Aspire um, and I got to keep my ASUS so I've been doing some uh, comparisons between these two machines and um, basically the, the ASUS uh, came with the it's a quad core processor 1.80 quad core uh, 320 hard drive it came with 2 GB of DDR3 and I upgraded to 4 uh, the battery is a six cell battery uh, on the other hand the Acer Aspire 1 756 it's a dual core 1.40 uh, it came with 2 GB of RAM and I upgraded to 8 and uh, 320 hard drive and I just upgraded the Acer to the the Intel Intel solid state drive uh, 520 series I it's 120 gig I believe this uh, solid state drive is uh, the latest one from from Intel and uh, I just installed this uh, hard drive and uh, uh, reloaded or is, or reinstalled uh, Windows so I've been doing some performance tests and benchmark tests and, that. and uh, as you can see I was doing a I think it's called mark benchmark test or something like that and uh, this this test was done uh, on battery and I'm gonna do it now with the connected to the charger but the Asus got 372.3 and the Acer gave me 476.2 um, a few things I can tell you about the Acer uh, I'm really happy with this machine it's really fast uh, very lightweight uh, really thin uh, the one thing I have to complain about is the battery it came with a, a 4 cell battery and it doesn't really last that much um, I'm so I can show you here um, so I have left like 2 hours and 30 minutes and it's 12.51 as you can see there I unplugged the machine from the charger at 11.30 so it's, um, it's almost like an hour and a half since I unplugged it and according to this I have another two and a half hours so basically basically I get about four hours in the, in the power sa power saver mode I get about four hours uh, and it's kind of like heavy usage web browsing uh, watching YouTube things like that uh, the Acer the, I mean the Asus has a way more battery life uh, as you can see here it's showing if I can focus 4 hours and 38 minutes and usually I get about 6 hours uh, continue usage with the, with the Asus because of the battery um, I thought about returning the, the Acer and maybe 
get a different Acer with a that comes with a six cell battery, but uh, I'm gonna sacrifice the performance if I do that. So I decided to keep it, and I'm hoping that at some point uh, they make uh, extended batteries for the Acer. Um, let me show you from the side how they look like. The Asus is pretty thin, but the Acer is thinner. Um, and I can show you. See, it's really, really thin. Uh, it comes with a on this side is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, two USB ports, uh, the charger, and the lock. And then uh, there's a web webcam on top. On the other side, the Ethernet port, VGA port. The, the air vent or fan, the HDMI, and another USB port. And let me show you um, just to compare how thin the, the Acer is. So I have this thing right here. Um, if I close them, I don't know if you can see. The Acer is way thinner than the Asus, and. So here's this thing. So the Asus is about at the thickest point, it's over one inch, like 1.4, 1.5 inch thick. And let me show you the Acer now. The thickest point, it's it's like 1.1 inch, if anything, and the thinnest point, it's under one inch. So it's really really thin and very light. Um, I wanted to show you, I want to do the same uh, benchmark test, but having the computers connected to the power, because they were both running on a power save mode, so the performance is not going to be the same. One second. Okay, so I'm going to close these. Close these. And let's connect it to the charger.
Okay. So I'm gonna do the same test. They're both now on a high performance mode. As you can see there. Actually, let me change this. Um, Okay, now it's in high performance. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the ASUS. I'm gonna run the test and you know. One second. Wish I can do it at the same time, but I'm holding the camera, so uh, I'll do the best I can. Huh? Another thing I can tell you about the Acer that is that the speakers are not good. The the volume it's it's not really it's not loud at all. Uh, doesn't bother me that much, and I can show you. There's something. This thing. This is what I'm doing for for the the volume issue. I'm using this uh, external rechargeable speaker and so it doesn't really bother me that much that's something you can do too if you if you think the speakers are not loud enough After the test, I'm going to show you also, I'm going to restart both computers and then also start both from uh, after they're, they're being powered off. And then we can check uh, the, how which one is faster and, you know, the boot up, boot up time. Also, <clears throat> the keyboard on the Acer feels good, but uh, the keyboard on the Asus is way better. It feels more solid. Uh, feels like better quality. Also, the mouse pad on the Asus. <clears throat> Every time you click, it's a little annoying. Uh, the Acer is a little more quiet. So it looks like the Acer is uh, ahead of the ahead of the game and probably gonna be finishing soon. And as far as the hard drive, 
on the upgrade. Okay, so uh, okay, no big deal. Uh, yeah, as far as the hard drive, I was doing research, and there is some uh, other hard drive. Uh, I think it's called Seagate Momentus. It's a uh, kind of like a combination of uh, like a regular hard drive and a, a SSD hard drive, and uh, you still get the perfor the performance of an SSD, well, close to the performance of an SSD, but with with more space, because usually solid state hard drives uh, they don't have much space, and uh, it's actually a little a little bit cheaper than the one I got. I paid hundred and forty nine dollars at High V for I mean sorry at Best Buy for this sorry about that um, and anyways um, uh, with the tax and everything it was like $165 so I'm actually considering taking this back and probably ordering the other one and increase the space and also um, save some money and apparently according to different results that I saw on YouTube the the boot up time uh, between the the momentous hard drive and and a, and a regular SSD hard drive, it's like if anything like five or six.